Hi, this is Mr. Ben. In this video, we're going to make some live lyrics. Basically, lyrics to go with a song that I really like. And you can pick the song that you like. So to do that, if you don't have a song yet or you want to look for one, go to youtube.com. And once you're there, type in a song you might like or check out the songs on YouTube. And once you find a song you want, in this case, I like this one, I'm going to make a video on this one, then uh, you're ready to go. So once you've done looking for it, then now we need the lyrics. So I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to look for the artist and the title of the song and lyrics. Now here, Google was, was nice to me and gave me part of the songs, uh, the lyrics, but not all of them. So if I want all, I have to click on show all. And now I can see all the way to the end. Now, if Google doesn't give this to you, you'll have to click on one of the links later and try to find the right one. So uh, it'll take a little bit more work. But in this case, I know this is good. So I have my title, uh, I have my artist, and I have the lyrics. So now I can go to the file that I've shared with you on Google, uh, Google Classroom. And here, is where you type your title. So it's going to be thank you. Let's capitalize it. Uh, titles, especially for songs, should all be capitalized. And the artist name, so we'll say by. And uh, we want to make that lowercase, so I will undo. So we'll go back to lowercase because Google Slides makes a capital by, by automatically. And the artist name, which is Shepherd. Now, in this case, I want it to stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to go with black. All right, so I have my first slide, but it looks a little bit plain. So let's bring in a background. Now, it, you'll have to go, you might have to search for it. You might go on to uh, look for free, back, back, free backgrounds and click enter, and then click on images and then check out and find one that you like and save it to your computer. Um, but if but in my case, I already know which one I want to use. So I'm going to go directly, once you saved it, go to background, go to image, and in this case, I will go to Google Drive, but you could drag it here, here if you needed to. And I saved mine under digital literacy, under live lyrics, and free background. So then I click on insert. And then I will see it pop up in the back, and I want all of them to have this background, so I'm going to click on Add to Theme. And that will let all the slides afterwards be this background. All right, I want to make this look a little bit nicer, so I'll go in and I'll insert um, some special characters. And I'm looking for musical notes. So under Symbol, I'll go to Musical. And I like this one. Probably that one, and then if, let's see, any others I want? Oh, I like that one. Okay, so now we have a bunch of notes. Actually, maybe I can, I will cut this and paste it here. Oh, can't do that, so I'll use my command, control V to paste it, add a space there, and now it looks a little more interesting. So I like it. It's up to you whether you want to add that or not. Uh, now, we want things to appear on the screen as we're going. So it's time to click on, uh, we'll first click outside and uh, click on transition. Or if you're already here, you would click on animate. So I'll go from the transition part first. And here, uh, I want to add an animation. So I'll click on the, the text box that I want to animate and click add animation. And it's going to fade in. So that's good. I can leave the rest the way it is. And then here, Shepard, uh, the, the artist name, I also wanted to come in. And I'll have it fade in, but that's OK. But I won't do it on click. I want it to happen afterwards. So I'll say after previous. And then if we can preview it. If I click on play, and then I press down, you'll see one appears and the other appears shortly after. So that looks good. All right. Now it's time to add our next one. So uh, we'll click on the drop down next to the plus and click on main point. And you notice all of the uh, slides have the right background, so that's good. 
Now here is where we start to put in the information we want. And we can hide this for now, so we'll close that. And going back here, I don't need my free backgrounds anymore. I'll click on the lyrics. And I'm going to grab not everything at once. That's too much. So I'm going to grab probably just the, the first three. So I'm going to control C to copy that. Go back here and control V to paste it. Now, it's nice. It fills up most of the screen. That's good, but it's too big. So I'm going to actually make this... 38 font size 38 that's looks nicer uh, for my lyrics it might be different for yours so you can choose the one that's right for you I'm going to center it and I'm also going to add a space between each line I'm gonna go with 1.5 okay and it's almost good but this third line goes down to a fourth line I don't want that so what I'm gonna do is drag the sides out to the edge of the presentation. There we go. So now it's centered and I like that. That's gonna look good for our video. Then, uh, or I'm sorry, for our live lyrics. Now I want there to be a transition. So actually um, we want to highlight the words as they appear, um, as it's being sung, so that people who are watching can follow along. Now there's a few ways you can do it and the way I'm going to show you today is by using um, like a, a highlighting tool, uh, but not the real highlighting tool. So we're going to go to shapes, going to go to sh uh, shapes again, and let's go with the rounded rectangle. So I'll click on that, and I'm going to drag it to cover the words that I'm about to use. Now you can't see it anymore, but that's okay, we're going to fix that. First let's change the color. Um, in my case, I'm going to go with the yellow, and uh, it's kind of bright, and I still can't see the words, so I'm going to go custom. And here, I can change the transparency and drag it down to about there. And now we can see the words behind the lyrics. And so, um, now behind the highlighter. So that's good. So we're gonna, we wanted to highlight the first one. And all you do is control C to copy, control V to paste, and bring it down and cover the next one. And it doesn't need to be as big. So to make it look good, I'm going to bring it in. And I will do Control V again to paste another one from my the first one I copied, and bring it over to align up with the center, and then stretch it out so it covers all the letters. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot. We gotta take away our border. Right now, there's a border around it, and we don't need that. So I'm gonna go to border color and make it white. No, not white. Make it transparent. There we go. Gotta do the same thing for each one. All right, so now they're highlighted. Now, we don't want them to all highlight at the same time. That wouldn't be very helpful for following the words. So we're going to go back to transition again. And here, if I click on the first one, uh, make sure you're clicking on the highlighting box, not the text. This is the, where the words are. I want just this box. So I click on that, and I'm going to click on Add Animation. And I want it to fade in on click. That's good. Now. I want it to also go away before the next line highlights. So I'm going to animation, animation again while that one is selected. And this time I'm going to change to fade out. So I'm going to fade out. And if I do that, then you'll see if I play it right now, the first row is not highlighted. If I play, it'll highlight. And when I click again, it'll go away. So that's good. Now let's fix the rest. So going back here, now once that fades out, we want this to fade in, this highlight. So we'll add animation, and we want it to fade in, that's correct, but let's not do on click. We want it to happen at the same time, so we're going to click with previous. And once this fades in, we're going to want it to fade out, so we'll add animation, and we'll do fade out. This will be on it on click, and then the last one is going to be add animation. This will fade in on, uh, it will fade in with previous. And before we end our slide, oh, actually, no, we're good. That's it. So let's take a look. We'll play it. So one click, it goes through one, the highlights the first one, second click, 
first row disappears, second highlight appears, click again, second row disappears, third row highlights, and then we're ready for the next slide. So I'll do one more just to show you, but at this point, it's really just adding the trend, adding the lyrics, making it the right look right, and adding your transitions to your highlights so that you will be able to make it go smoothly. The goal here is when we're playing our song for the class, you're going to be going through your Google Slides to have the lyrics play while people are listening to the song so they can learn the words. Oh, and I hope you know that we should be picking mostly English. So if it's not an English-only song, it should be a mostly English song. All right, let's go. I'll show you one more time. I'll click on the next three lines. And then I'm going to paste it here. And again, change the font. Uh, I'm going to make it size 38. I'm going to make, put it in the center. And uh, I'm going to add some spacing in between. Okay. Uh, actually, I just remember there's a faster way to do this. So what we'll do is we'll delete this. And I'll duplicate this. So I can go to File, uh, actually Edit, Duplicate. And now I have another slide. And what I can do is instead of typing it all out, I can go to copy my next one, go back, and just make sure you have the big box highlighted, select your words, and if you control V, you'll paste in your new words. So then that's good, and our transitions are still there, so this saves you time. And so what we wanted to do, uh, we just have to fix the, the length of our um, highlighting. And same thing with the last row. And then there's one thing, because our, we're already coming from a previous uh, slide to this one, we can have the words appear right away. So in this case, the first one, when it fades in, we don't need to wait for a click. We'll just say uh, with previous. So let's take a look. Here, it'll open and automatically highlight the first row. And I just realized we can do that for the fur for for our for this one as well. So, uh, but let's play through here. So we'll go next, highlights the second row, next highlights the third row, and then it's ready for the next slide. But here, actually, we can do the same thing. We can have this come in with previous. So if I want to see how this is going to go, it's going to uh, let's see. I can probably full screen this. So we'll see. A blank screen, start the music, the title, and the artist will show up. When I go next, the first row will highlight automatically. So you can just go right into it when you hear the lyrics. And then again, again, and when I go to the next one, it'll automatically highlight the first. And that's what you're going to do. Now, once you're finished with all of your slides, maybe some will repeat. And so just make sure you copy and paste those or duplicate them. So that way you don't have to do the work over again. Then you're going to add a blank slide at the very end. And what we want to do is we, can, we want our video to end with the song. So instead of just ending with a screen with no words on it, we can do a transition. So what I'll do is go to Shapes and click on the rectangle, click inside, and I'm going to line it up with the edges so that it covers everything. I'll hide this for now because I don't need to see it. I'll go all the way. Uh-oh. Uh oh, it's giving me some problem. Let me drag out from here. Drag all the way to the edge, release. Drag all the way down, release. And then, um, let me see, I okay, need zoom out a little bit because I cannot see the edge, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's see, maybe we can, cannot. Uh, oh, I've already hit it all. And I wanted to just fade to a dark screen. So. I've covered the background, I didn't change the background, and this way I can, um, let's go to animate, and uh, we're going to have this uh, fade in, should be good. So let's take a look, let's see what happens. So if we go here, if we, if we do this transition, we play, it's first the, the same background for all the other slides, and click, and it'll disappear. And that we can end the song that way, or you can put in something else, whatever you want. Feel free to be creative. So those are all the steps you need to know to make your live lyric video. And when you're done, 
you're going to submit it on Google Classroom, and then we're, hopefully we'll all have a chance to share our super cool lyric creation, uh, live lyric creation with everyone in class. That would be awesome. So feel free to ask me if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.